Our next grammar rule is commas, and you're probably dreading this one. If you're like most of us, you've heard a lot of explanations for commas and they're still confusing, but they don't have to be. They actually just fall into two categories. sentence organization, and specific rules. Let's first talk about sentence organization. So you can think about it like this. When you're saying something or when you're writing a sentence, you have the main thing you're trying to say, and then you have all that additional information. That additional stuff makes our sentences more interesting, but we still need to indicate to the reader that that is additional information and not the main thing we're trying to say. That's what we use sentence organization commas for. Let's look at an example. Ready for the challenge, Henry gathered up his supplies, including his paint, and headed to the theater. So what's our basic sentence here, or what's the main thing that we're trying to say? Well, I'd say it's Henry gathered up his supplies and headed to the theater. This contains our subject and our verb. It's the main thing we're trying to say. Everything else in the sentence is additional information. We surround all that stuff with commas. So the first part, ready for the challenge, is at the beginning of our sentence. We put a comma after that to indicate that this bit is additional information. Then we have our, our basic sentence, or at least part of it, and then we have another piece of additional information. We surround that with commas, and then we have the rest of our basic sentence. So this is the process here, and I would encourage you to follow this process on the test. When you see a question about commas, specifically sentence organization commas, Take a look at the sentence as a whole. Assume there's no commas there. Start from scratch. Find your basic sentence and then surround everything else with commas. Sometimes this everything else stuff, this additional information will be at the beginning of the sentence and you'll need to just have one comma after it. Or sometimes it'll be at the end of a sentence and you'll just have a comma before it and then a period at the end. Or sometimes it'll be in the middle of a sentence and you'll surround it on both sides with commas. But either way, you wanna start from scratch here and then just add additional commas in that fit this rule. Now let's take a look at specific rule commas. We have three specific rules that we need to follow for commas. The first one is something we've already talked about and this is when we have a comma The comma conjunction separates two complete thoughts, right? Okay, so that's one use of a comma that we've already learned. The second one is one you've probably heard of before. When we have a list of three or more things, you have to use a comma. So let's say we have Lions, comma, bears, comma, and tigers. Okay, so this follows the rule of three or more things and we have to use commas. The third rule between two adjectives. So say we're describing a dog and we wanna say that dog is friendly and furry. We might say the friendly, comma, furry dog. Okay, so we're using two adjectives to describe the same noun. If we can switch these two adjectives and say the furry friendly dog, then we want to use a comma between these two adjectives. It tells the reader that we could switch these and it means the same exact thing. Okay, so we've gone over specific rule commas and our sentence organization commas and that's it. Those are the uses for commas that you need to know for the test. Let's look at an example. In spite of all this, Mr. Normer, with his spectacles and slicked hair, insisted on seeing the explanation himself. Okay, so we have a couple commas in here that we need to figure out if they are correct or not. And again, we don't wanna go through piece by piece and try to decide, does this comma belong? Does this comma belong? We wanna see if it is a sentence organization question, in this case it is, then we wanna start from scratch and we wanna find our basic sentence. So let's do that together. 
Mr. Normer insisted on seeing the explanation himself. Okay, that is our basic sentence. That's the main thing that we are trying to say here. Everything else should be surrounded by commas. So let's do that. In spite of all this, comma, Mr. Normer, so we need to add a comma here, with his spectacles and slicked hair, comma, insisted on seeing the explanation himself. Okay, so we need three commas here in order to make this one correct, so our answer will be C. Now we can take a look at the practice questions for the comma section.